this thing. This is the fidget cube. I don't know if you can see it that well. Basically, it's a cube that you can fidget with. It's got six sides as a cube would, and it's got a switch, a rotation, a joystick, buttons, gears, a little ball, an anxiety stone, and a switch. The fidget cube was very popular a few months ago, but since then it's pretty much turned into fidget spinners. And I have a huge problem with these fidget spinners. Basically, people just make these really clickbait videos like where they basically injure themselves with a fidget spinner just so they can get views off of it. Like, you see people bleeding in these videos. Like, you're making yourself bleed just so you can get views to make money. I made a Lego fidget spinner. Anyway, these things were originally invented for like anxiety, I think, and then they just turned into, you know, this. I actually got this before they were like, or actually I knew about this before they were like really popular, then once they got popular I bought one. I saw it around like January 18th, around that time. There's this video on it like, 10 cool gadgets on Amazon under $10. Anyway, so yeah, it's got three clicky buttons and two soft buttons. See, click, soft, click, click, soft. If you heard that at a conference, you wouldn't be too happy, but then on the other hand, you got, you can't even hear. The joystick side, I actually don't like that much because it doesn't really feel like a joystick at all. Like, it doesn't feel like the Xbox controller joystick because the Xbox controller has this like circle around it. Whereas this one's just a little thing that doesn't really come out much. I like the switchy side. I don't like this anxiety stone side. There's like no point in it. I don't know if you're supposed to put your thumb on it. This is what it looks like. Yeah. I don't know if you're supposed to like press into it or put your thumb on it or just leave it there and rest. But considering it's called the fidget cube, this isn't very fidgetful. Now this side is like a double side almost. It has gears and a little rolly metal ball that clicks even. It's like almost a triple side. Yeah, see it's got this rolly ball that clicks. And you can roll these around. It's amazing. Did I mention how much I love this box? Look at the box of it. It's a high quality box. Anyway, all of the sides are okay. I mean, overall it wouldn't really recommend it to anybody unless they like really need it also it's meant to fit in your pocket but I don't really think it's it can okay see this is what it looks like when I'm in my pocket fidgeting with it it's just a bit weird okay okay yeah anyway I, I like these buttons they sound like bubble wrap hey did you remember when I did that 40 subscriber thing remember this thing here it is. Hello! I remember making this and thinking it was really cool. It's actually not that good. I think the glue fell off a little bit. I really want to put this in a paper shredder. Boop. What if I just took the YouTube button off? Oh, it's tape, not glue. I thought it was like glue. I'm the king of YouTube. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, the spinner. I just called it a fidget spinner. This isn't a fidget spinner. I don't like this. I don't like this. The fidget play button, I don't recommend it. Yeah, so I got this around like March, about a few weeks before I went to Florida. I went to Florida August 11th. Not August 11th, it was what, April 11th? I forgot. Yeah, I really don't like this joystick. I like the spinny side though. If you didn't know, the spinny side is like this. It's just a little circle that spins. We'll be spinning for weeks. <laughs> hey, I just realized how much this can zoom in. Oh. Now it's a double functioning. It's the fidget play button and the fidget cube. All in one. Just fell off. I really want to shred this. Let's go shred it. <laughs> Sorry, where was I? Oh yeah, what am I gonna do with this frame? This frame, uh, it was supposed to be for the play button. I'm giving away a frame. 
No, I'm not. I won this at an arcade. This is a, a cringy little emoji doll. It's a dog chew toy. So basically, if you don't like emojis, you can just have your dog rip one up. Wouldn't that be pleasant? Uh, fidget with the fidget spinner. It's a cube, Nolo. It's a cube. your fidget cube. I'm here to review, not this fidget spinner, my Nolo sweatshirt. It's a sweatshirt with my face on it. You can buy this sweatshirt. I barely make any money off of it. So yeah, anyway, I love this sweatshirt. I use it every day of my life. If you want to buy one, there's a link in the description that uh, brings you to the website where you can buy one. You can also create your own. I bet you probably want to create a sweatshirt with your face on it. And if you want to do that, then don't do that. Buy one of mine. I lost it. Well, it's been a good run, you little, you little monster. Where are ya? I'm looking for ya, you little monster. You little devil. A black paper and a white paper. It's not racist. Anyway, back to where that fidget spinner was. I called it a spinner again. Where is it? Found it anyway. So this fidget spinner is the fidgiest cube you've ever seen, okay? This is the, the, the fidget spinner of your life. Look, watch, you can go like, where's the spinning side? You go like, spin this, spin it. Fidget spinner. Wee. Anyway, I hope you buy one, buy one. Your, your, new, your new favorite toy, you just love the fidget spinner, don't ya? your favorite I love it oh man I wonder if fidget cubes are edible let's find out oh,